What's up guys, Kick Complete here. And as you can probably tell, today we're doing something a little different. So for a while now, people have been asking me to do a scratch tutorial, specifically a PTO1 scratch tutorial. Now just a disclaimer, I basically learned all of this stuff on my own and I have never taught anyone how to scratch before. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this. Now this right here is the PTO1 scratch. It's made by Numark and if I'm not mistaken, it's the first all-in-one portableist setup. Now that means you can just grab this thing and straight out of the box you have a portableist setup. Now with that said, there are a few mods that you would probably want to do in order to get the best you can out of this little thing. So the first mod that I did, which is probably the first mod that everyone does, was upgrade the fader. Now the PTO1 Scratch comes with what they call a fader switch. And in my opinion, for someone just starting off, it's definitely good enough. The main reason people don't like the switch is, as you can probably tell from the name, is not a traditional fader that moves back and forth, but a switch which pivots. Rather than sliding back and forth, it pivots. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with this, but if you've learned to scratch with a fader, it just feels a bit weird. Now the second mod that I've done on this guy was install a Bihari platter stabilizer. All this is essentially is just a ring of plastic that sits underneath the platter. And as you imagine, it helps stabilize the platter. For me, I've got pretty heavy hands when it comes to scratching. So anything that can help stop the needle from jumping gets a thumbs up from me. Now there are a bunch of different options when it comes to platter stabilization. There are a few companies that make the ring style that I use, but also there are products that will completely replace the stock platter, upgrading it to a metal platter. All of these options are of course different prices and it's up to you which one you would go ahead and get, but I would definitely recommend getting something. Okay, and the last mod that I've done to this PTO one was upgrade the needle. Now out of the box, these come with just a plastic needle. And to be fair, it does the job, but upgrading to a diamond tip needle is definitely the way to go. I've chosen the simplest method of doing this and just buying a new needle. But of course, if you wanted, you could upgrade the whole tone arm. Now there are a ton of other mods you can do on PTO ones. And who knows, I might get some in the future, but for now, I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Okay, so that's the PTO1 in a nutshell. Let's get into some cutting basics. I decided for this tutorial that I'm gonna go right from the start. And if you're just getting into scratching, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna decide is what hand position you're gonna use. Now for me, I like to put my left hand on the record and my right hand on the fader. And the PTO1 scratch definitely favors that position. But of course there are workarounds if you decide you would rather have your right hand on the record and left hand on the fader. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to decide is whether you wanna scratch regular or hamster style. Regular style is like this, where this position means that the record is silent, this meaning the record is on. The alternative to that is called hamster style, which is just the opposite. This means that the record is off and that is on. Now I don't cut in hamster style and I'm really bad at it. So that's about as much information as you're gonna get out of me on hamster style scratches. All right, so the second piece of equipment you're gonna need if you wanna get into scratching is of course, some battle records or scratch records. Now people always ask me, where do I get these records? And my answer is always the same. There are a few places that I like to get them and I'll leave links in the description to where those places are. But if you just Google seven inch battle records or seven inch scratch records, you'll come up with plenty of results. Now, when it comes to scratching, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a sample that you wanna scratch and then find out where that sample starts or begins on the record. So let me show you what that looks like. So I wanna scratch this ah sound. And 
one of the fundamentals of scratching, one of the basics, is just being able to play a sample and then bring it back to the start of the sample. Now, to do this, you're going to want to mark your records so that you can visually see where the beginning of a sample is. So as you can see, the beginning of this R sample is just about here. So now that I've figured out where the sample starts, I want to place a sticker on the record. Now I'm going to use a sticker, you can use a marker, you can use tape, you can use whatever you want. The other decision you're going to have to make is where do you want to mark the record. Now some people like to mark it at 12 o'clock, some people like to mark it in line with the needle. For the purposes of today, we're just going to mark it at 12 o'clock. Now, we know that whenever we want to get to the beginning of this sound, we just need to line this sticker up with 12 o'clock. Alright, well, with all that done, we can finally get into some actual scratching. Now, the first scratch that everyone learns is called the baby scratch. And it sounds like this. The method behind it is simply hand on the record, moving it back and forth. You don't use a fader, as simple as it gets. Now you can do it fast, you can do it slow, and basically you want to use those different rhythms to come up with interesting patterns. So let's put that on a beat. Alright, so that's our first technique, done and dusted. It's super simple, might be easy for you, but this is where it all starts. This is where every other scratch is based on. Now at the end of that scratch, you might have heard the record sound slightly different, and this is the next technique that I want to teach you. And what it's called is a drag. And essentially, it's just moving the record really slowly. And it kind of sounds like if you hit the start stop button on a turntable. Now, I use this technique all the time. Using it in combination with a baby scratch, you can come up with some even more intricate patterns. So, let's put it on a beat. Okay, so the next scratch I'm going to teach you is the forward scratch. And this is the first scratch technique I'll teach you that actually uses the crossfader. So what this technique is, is opening the crossfader either pushing or letting the record play forward, closing the crossfader, bringing it back to the start of the sample. So I'll show you what that sounds like. Now you can do that slow, you can do that fast. As I've been doing now, you can just let the record play or you can push it forward. And that's basically it. So let's combine it with the scratches we've learnt so far and put it on a beat. Now the last technique I'm going to teach you is a scratch called the transformer. Now, in terms of scratch history, this is one of the cuts that kind of changed the game. Also, it's kind of one of the simplest ways of making you sound like you really know what you're doing. Now, the technique is something like this. Moving the record back and forth, just like a baby scratch, you're going to open and close the crossfader in time with the music.
Other than that simple instruction, the transformer scratch leaves a lot of room for interpretation. One thing you'll definitely want to try is changing the speed at which you move the record in order to modulate the pitch of the sound. So again, let's combine that with the scratches we've learned so far and see what it sounds like on a beat. Okay, well, I think that's a great place to end this tutorial. And in my opinion, if you get these four scratches down, you can sound like a boss. Now, like I said before, this is my first time doing a scratch tutorial. So if you do have any questions or comments, please just leave them in the comments section. I get back to everyone who comments on my videos. And definitely let me know if you enjoyed today's video, if maybe you want to see anything more. And yeah, thanks for sticking around. Now let's start that beat back up and put some scratches down. Oh, 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 oh,